Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright. Let's go. So yeah, uh, between episodes I did sell off any excess items back at uh, the cabin there and I sold one of the mithril bangles uh, since we did pick up that crystal bangle uh, last episode. So yeah. Alright, let's head back down there. Why are we going back to the Mushroom Rock Road? You'll see. But before we move here, just to go over my setup for where we're heading. Uh, for Yuna, she's on Undying Storm still with the Dark Knight Dress Sphere, Favorite Outfit, and Glass Buckle to protect against Itchy and Sleep there. For Rigu, she's back on High Road Winds because we are entering territory where Chocobos could be uh, entering the battle again. So yeah, get ready to uh, capture those. We got her with the Samurai, Gold Hairpin, and Ribbon here. So yeah. And for Pain, Undying Storm, Trainer, Smooth Shaling, and Ragnarok. Still. Alright. And just to quickly go over the uh, abilities. Yeah, Yuna's working on Black Sky. Riku is working on Shin's on Tatsu still, about 60% done. And Pain is still working on half MP cost, which is also about 60% done. So, alright. And I did rearrange my item setup here just to look like this, so minor adjustment, but in any case, that's about it, so let's go. Hey, it's Elma. I'm reorganizing the Chocobo Knights, can you believe it? Well, it sounds, uh, actually kind of sounds right to me. Don't you agree, viewers? It just seems right for uh, at least Elma to be on Chocobo back again. Looks like you'll be seeing a lot of spear from the back of this little fella. <laughs> Too bad Clasco's not around. This stuff is so him. Well, if you make it to the Comlands, you may bump into each other, you know? And uh, who knows? Maybe he can be the uh, the contractor for uh, the uh, Chocobo Knights Chocobos, you know? Anyways. Alright. Oh, hey, it's Yaibo. Lady Yuna, an honor as always. I will do everything I can to support Commander Lucille while we await Maven Nuge's return. Glad to hear it. For as long as I live, I will never forget having met you, Lady Yuna. Thank you. And there we go. All right. Sounds like Yaibo's got a uh, a good head to follow kind of thing, you know? I was uh, commenting on, you know, he's one of those people where he's very eager to help uh, in any way he can, and uh, whoever leads him is pretty much the path that he'll be going down so yeah definitely definitely comfortable leaving him and commander lucille and even uh, elma's uh, hands as well so there we go so you got mega potion in 2500 gil right there all right let's start heading towards the jose temple I do not believe there are any new fiends along the uh, Jose High Road here, but you know. Yeah, so I guess why don't we just take a uh, take a hover ride? How I long to race! How I long to race along the cliff with the fresh air, sea air in my face and Lady Yuna at my back. I think we'll lock. That's the kind of thing you keep to yourself, viewers. Especially when it comes to anybody famous or anything like that. Yeah. When on their when they're in their off time, chances are they just want to be human. They want to be treated human. They don't want to be treated like some for lack of better for lack of a better term, they don't want to be idolized. Or if they do, it uh, might want to be a little cautious around those those types, but yeah, it's generally mm, they just they just when they're off the job they just you know they just want to relax you know so yeah all right we got the dolmen here 
Well, I thought we got two of them. I was like, what? Two of them? No, they got a lich here as well. So, all right. All right, so the lich is 34, 44. The dolmen's 53, 20. So I guess we'll uh, prime for the dolmen and uh, see what happens. Good job, ladies. Good job. Oh boy, we got a smorgasbord of enemies here. Let's right, take out the watcher first. First hit in one hit, and yeah, so we got the uh, the Tyromani back. We got the uh, Archaea Thyrus as well. Uh, so Archaea Thyrus is 1332 HP. Tyromani, okay, so looks like we could potentially be priming the Tyromani. So, yeah, all right, let's do this. Darkness. Same thing, just without the watcher. Darkness. Doesn't really affect your darkness attack, but you know. We can remove it, so why not? No watchers. Good experience again, though. Okay, we have a treasure chest right here. Awesome. 
All right, I got two X potions, and yeah, we got some uh, publicity matchmaking to take care of here too. So let's talk to this lady right here. For her, it is for good time. Call on Argent. And matchmaking. Do you believe in density? I mean, destiny. Great. All right, this gentleman right here. Uh, would you like to hear about Argent Inc? Great. Love to see you there. All right, and for this lady right here. For good time, call on Argent. And for matchmaking, believe in, do you believe in destiny? Have a good one. Right. And these two gentlemen right here. Uh, for the one in yellow, Argent. Fun you can rely on. And for this gentleman right here. Funny waits with Argent. Believe into his thoughts. All right, those treasure chests right here with four phoenix down in it. Nice. All right, this gentleman right here. Uh, Argent, at your service. Great. And then these two ladies right here. For a good time, call on Argent. And for matchmaking, the man of your dreams awaits. Right. And finally... Funny waits with Argent. And matchmaking. Do you believe in destiny? I right. right, don't believe there's any more treasures to pick up, so let's go see how things are going in the, uh, the temple here. Did research on Machina construction and built a super weapon. Oh, I knew you could beat this thing. He wants us to challenge their unbeatable Machina. The experiment. The Machina's power will increase if you found any assemblies in the desert. The experiment will break if defeated, but repair manuals can be used to fix it up for a rematch. Its current stats are as follows. Attack level 1, defense level 1, and special level 1. Remember digging in the Big Canal Desert? Yeah. How about it? Ready to lose? Uh, you know what? Hold that dog. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Got a treasure chest in here. Contains two remedies. Nice. Alright, I do not believe anything in the uh, other uh, side chamber, so let's head out to the save point and. Uh, Prepare ourselves for the fight and heal up. Alright, so I'll take care of that and be right back. Alright, so Yuna here has the Undying Storm, Dark Knight with two Power Wrists. Riku's on Undying Storm again with the Samurai with the Power Wrist and Black Belt there to help boost up her defense a bit as well. And for Pain, Undying Storm, Thief, Shining Bracer, and Gold Hairpin. Deciding to avoid the uh, auto slow effect going into this, so yeah. And for abilities, let's take a quick look. So yeah, it has got still got a ways to go there. Riku, ooh yeah. If I had gotten two more AP with Riku here, we could see some could could have seen something interesting happen. Um, so yeah, but if you've managed to get up to about up to 80 out of 100 or higher with this, you're probably going to see something interesting uh, if you're playing as a samurai here. And for pain, yeah, she's not really not really interested in that. Just going to be uh, stealing, and yeah, she's still working on a half MP cost. All right, let's heal up, and let's go see if this thing is indeed unbeatable. Start 
to this guy. Think you can take on our masterpiece. Bring it on. Or rather, take on the experiment. Bring it on is a little too uh, strong for this. Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> okay. Prove your strength by smashing the machine faction's masterpiece. Spear's most powerful machina weapon. Objective, defeat the experiment. Let's do this. All right. The experiment. Level one. Well, At well. level one, this thing has 18,324 HP with zero MP. It doesn't have any gills, so that's why I'm not having Riku start in a Thief as well. So yeah, just going to be using uh, Sticky Fingers with Pain and switching her over to Trainer and then uh, going from there. Uh, you can steal one to two Turbo Ethers from it. It is immune to gravity and it is immune to all status ailments, including all four breaks and any accuracy, evasion, and luck debuffs as well. So immune to all of it. Uh, no elemental affinities beyond being immune to your gravity, though. And at level one, it only has a single physical attack. So yeah. But how much? How painful is its physical attack? Well, to be honest, um, it isn't something you should take lightly. It can do quite a bit of damage um, because it does have a bit of a does seem to attack rather quickly. So yeah. All right, so yeah, let's just uh, do our thing. Let's get uh, sticky fingers there. You know, there we go. It's Prime Yuna. Let's get over to Trainer. Maybe uh, boost to her magic step to help with healing. And now the hunt begins. And HP carrier. Uh, carrier. HP flurry. Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, this thing actually... Oh wow, 8,000 damage out of that. I mean, really... If this thing actually gangs up on one specific girl, it can, you know, four to 500 damage per hit like that. Yeah, it can take you down pretty right quickly, so. And there's Shinzan Tatsu. Now, going back to what I said about if you'd managed to get Sh uh, Shinzan Tatsu up to 80 AP or higher, you would have likely have seen two skills get learned at the exact same time. Yeah, this thing is worth 40 AP to defeat. So, yeah. And we get an elixir out of that. We really trashed it. Tell him this. Mega win dela youth kujai. Mega win your daddy da. Hey, he understood me. <laughs> Find repair manuals and you can fight the experiment again. It's still a work in progress, so you can power it up even more with any special assemblies you dig up in the desert. It doesn't matter if you find these assemblies before or after the experiment is repaired. Upgrades are installed as soon as you find them. And to get 100% completion in this game, you do have to level this thing up to maximum. So level 5 on all three aspects. Attack, defense, and special. Which is what digging in the Bicanel Desert is all about. So yeah, and for defeating it here, we get the Albed Primer 10, which is the 22nd of 26 Albed Primers in the list. And we've got four more to go. And yeah, anything else happen when we go in there? No? Okay. So yeah, if we want to get 100% completion, we need to find these repair man manuals. I believe there's five of them. We can get four of them right now, but considering where the fifth one is, I'm actually going to hold off on trying to get them for now so we can get them all at once kind of thing. So yeah, on the other hand though, uh, we'll probably tackle the uh, uh, leveling it up. I'll probably take care of that off screen because it is quite a bit of grinding. Uh, but yeah, eventually I'll be doing that and I will let you know uh, when I have or when I will do it. So yeah, 
but because we've still got something to take care of in the Bicanel Desert as well, so we've actually got a couple of things we got to handle, but uh, before we do that, but anyways, for, that I want to take care of before we do that, so yeah. Alright, so that is the experiment. And in case, yeah, just for the sake of showing you, here important announcement accounts for the last period have been closed as a result your excavation count has been reset to zero and your wages adjusted this may result in a temporary drop in your wages however depending on the number of excavations you completed previously your new wages may rise even higher than before so yeah just basically just telling you it's been your uh your excavation count has been reset so yeah but the current, our current wages are actually three times higher than they were before, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, anything else? Parts catalog, so yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll eventually post the uh, the list of you know what each of these does, each of these parts does, uh, as far as uh, uh, digging the bit up in the Bicanel Desert uh, at a later date when I'm ready to do it. So yeah. Now we got a defense assembly S when we. Uh, did Nautilus dig before. If you recall, I was trying to avoid any uh, uh, Z assemblies, since I believe they autom getting one of those automatically boosts it up to level two, I believe. So yeah, maybe not the full, maybe not everything up to level two, but yeah, just the uh, attack, defense, or especially special, whichever one had the Z assembly would be uh, leveled up. So just a heads up there. So yeah, or rather, that's the reason why I did not want a Z. So. So I guess we figured out what they were probably doing with the uh, parts they got from the uh, Shinra's Comsphere. But anyways, hey, how's it going? Uh, you can fight as hard as you want, but you won't be beating our weapon. <laughs> Don't be asha ashamed to run away. Running requires courage too. <laughs> the next question is, what do we use this amazing technology for? Was it for this time? You're in a fighter masterpiece. Nice to you. <laughs> They'll never win. You know, Yuna does know enough Al Bed to know exactly what you just said there, kid. <laughs> but it sounds like the challenge has been made. The glove has been dropped. Is that the right expression? But in any case, we managed to get our. Uh, Publicity and matchmaking taken care of as we came in. We defeated the experiment. I'm going to call it the experiment mark, experiment mark one. And yeah, to get full completion here, if we need to defeat it at level five, at level five. So yeah, like I said, we can't quite do that yet. So I guess that one's just going to have to sit on the back burner for now. But in any case, let's see. Oh yeah, about the skills. Yeah, so if you'd yeah, you would have learned two skills at once, and you would have learned Shinzan Tatsu and Nanpuri as well. So, yeah, but in this case, since we learned this finally, let's equip that, or not equip that, set it to learn that. Zan Tetsu, instantly defeat one enemy, sometimes fails. What's the difference between these? You'd think, well, this one only targets one enemy. Isn't that worse than defeating all enemies? Yes and no. This one, Shin Zantetsu, is based on the enemy's death resistance. So if they're immune to death, this will not work. Which is also going to be a very useful tool in our shed, in our box, with regards to capturing chocobos. Because they are immune to death. So yeah, you just pretty, pretty much just use this during a battle with a chocobo and... Uh, pretty much almost always well and it, as long as everything's weak to death we can just wipe them all out and just uh, uh capture them so yeah like that not having to worry about hitting it with darkness or anything like that but considering how much hp they have i might give something a try um they may not be popular with those who are fond of chocobos but it could simplify things as far as capturing chocobos for me but i'll uh, who knows, I may, ne may not end up doing that. I haven't done much testing with it as far as that, this LP goes. So if it uh, causes more problems than, uh, than not, then I'll probably just, uh, you know, not worry, not do it. But, 
Yeah. <laughs> but in any case, yeah, we got working on Zantetsu next. And yeah, and just to say, uh, Zantetsu is more based on sort of like what um, Yojimbo's uh, Zantetsuken uh, from last from uh, last game did. Uh, it's based on, I believe, actually the enemy's level versus Riku's or versus whoever is using it. So yeah, but we'll uh, get to work on that and we'll go from there. All right, and for the pain. She's almost there. That's gonna be key. And then, you know, obviously, not much going on there. Just working on Black Guy and whatever else comes afterwards. And yeah, so. Uh, oh, yeah, there's no shops here, so there's no point in checking that. Looks like we're all right anyway, so yeah. Alright, so next time, I guess we'll head up to the moon flow. I mean, well, why would we go up there? I mean, we already took care of the complete. We got the episode complete up there. Well, if you recall, I did not do the publicity matchmaking up there so yeah we'll be taking the care of that at the, up at the moon flow next time and then i guess uh potentially even make our way into guadalajara again and see how things are going there so yeah and if you uh like the video as you please consider hitting the like button on your way up you help support the series here and uh help get this content to those who would who are looking for uh, this kind of content uh vis-a-vis -vis, you know 100% playthrough of Final Fantasy X-2 helping me uh, get this content to them and I thank you for helping me do that and if you uh, dislike the video feel free to hit the dislike button maybe leave a comment suggesting how it can improve I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos and until next time thank you for spending some of your time here take care be blessed and have a good one